So my wife's gone to do the shopping, and uh, where's the sunshine? Exactly. It's Paul from Pro Guitar Tuition and uh, welcome back to another video lesson. This week we are looking at Ain't No Sunshine uh, When It's Gone by Bill Withers, who thank the Lord is still with us. Actually, I don't know if he is. But anyway, um, this is a great little song, um, only basic chords uh, required um, and using a bit of finger style for the first time here on uh, my channel, I think. Um, so thanks for joining. Um, so let's get looking at it. First of all, it only requires a few chords. We've got that an A minor, an E minor, a G, and uh, a D minor. And those are the only chords we're going to use for the whole thing. Now, um, to start off with, we're making that A minor shape. So this first little part of the song is the A minor, E minor, G kind of progression. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make that A minor shape. We're going to use our thumb to pluck the open A, and then we're going to use our first three fingers to pluck the uh, D, G and B strings respectively, all together. So respectively, it's not respectively, it's all together. So what you'll have is, hopefully there's some tab coming up on the screen that will guide you through this bit as well. So once we've done that, we do that twice. We then move to the E minor shape, and we use our thumb for that bass note on the low E string, and we use the same three fingers on the same three strings um, to play the kind of offbeat parts. And then we move to a G chord. Now we don't need to make the whole G shape with our fingers, we can just plonk down that second or third finger, whatever works for you. Because all we're doing is playing that G on the uh, low E string as a bass note, and then we're playing those three open strings with our three fingers. And then it's back to the A minor. So doing that slowly, we'll have. And that, to be honest, is the lion's share of the song. If you can repeat that, you've got that bar. minor just holds for another bar before that progression starts again. And then at different points in the song it moves to an E minor and then a D minor for a whole bar each. And all we're doing is simply making those shapes. So we're doing the E minor, we're going to play exactly the same as we did in that initial progression. So thumb for the bass note on the E, three fingers for the, uh, the middle three strings, and we're just going And then we're moving to a D minor, and this time the bass note is going to be on the D, so we're using our thumb for that D uh, on the D string, and using the three fingers on the G, B and E strings. And then it just goes back into our A minor, E minor, G, A minor progression. So let's put that together very slowly, just a shortened version. through all of the song. The only section uh, where it's a little bit different is where Bill Withers starts singing I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, basically for that you just kind of hold that A minor at the beginning that, and let that A ring and you don't play any chords through that anyway. It just it has no music behind it until it kicks back into the main progression again. So if you've not done any finger picking, finger style stuff before, um, just a few notes on using this hand. Um, I find, you know, if I'm doing chords my hand tends to be uh, a little bit away from the body of the guitar so I can strum away like this. Um, with finger picking I'm a little bit closer in, my arm is a bit 
um, a bit flatter to the body, not completely flat against the body, um, but much closer, much more rooted, and that makes me feel more secure. I sometimes use my fourth finger on that high E string to kind of anchor myself a little bit, and just gives me something to hang on to. And in terms of playing those notes um, where we're using these three fingers, you're really looking to kind of just pull that back there. What we don't want is a lot of movement coming from the wrist or from the arm. Um, it's really a lot in the fingers, so you're just snapping back the fingers. Rather than a kind of... Obviously the further you go away, uh, the more time it's going to take you to get back. So not such a big problem in this, but if you're playing something quicker, uh, that would slow you down. So watch what you do in this hand and try and just get all the power from the fingers and from that thumb as well. Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you again for another lesson. Bye. Hi guys, thanks for watching. For more guitar tips and video lessons, click on the subscribe button down below and let me know in the comments what songs or video lessons you'd like to see. If you want to keep up with some of our news, you can like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter, or you can always check out our website, crowbrookguitartuition.com.